Hi there, I'm Becky Lacey and uh, I work my company is Solutions 42. I'm a coach and uh, I'm here because I want to um, expand my knowledge and experience of uh, ways to manage self and life. I know a little bit about NLP already, um, so I'm, I'm looking to really understand more detail and depth. Now I've got a really open mind to see where I think it's, because I, I know that it's part of how you manage oneself and uh, so I just want to see I've done a, done a little bit of it because I've come across, uh, I've, I found out about it really through uh, Chris Cardell and um, Paul McKenna because uh, I met them about a couple of years ago and uh, they have obviously introduced us to the basic called Paul McKenna, Master NLP Practitioner. So I'm just fascinated by it and I want to know more. I'm hoping that this will help me to expand my breadth and width of knowledge. <laughs> Richard was on the stage and uh, he was sharing with us his knowledge and understanding of uh, and his experience really of where the NLP system developed right. for him okay. um, and that, that uh, you know how it's all about a process and, our, and it's our way of thinking and how our way of thinking creates our reality. So, um, so, so it, it was sort of like opening, opening our, our minds to we have the power to change any situation that we wish to change. So we get back into control of whatever it is that we feel we might be out of control with. I absolutely, I felt Richard is my sort of guy um, because he is actually really quite direct and uh, he's very eloquent and articulate with his words. He's obviously got, you know, so many years worth of experience of this, you know, and I love the way that he's doing, he talks about his stories from like when he was 20 through to now. Um, but he is really like a, he's very, you know, direct and it's like, says it as it is. There's no airy fairy stuff. So, you know, if you're a little bit sensitive, I could imagine that that would be, uh, a, a, it's a bit of a shock to the system, but I love it. I think it's great. Yesterday was about, um, well, yesterday we were split into groups and uh, the various NLP group trainers came round to talk about the different sections of the, um, process of way we consider and act and so we were talking about visual, kinesthetic um, and auditory and all sorts of ways that we subliminally communicate that we don't actually necessarily understand that we're doing and so we got lots of opportunity to practice because this is what it's really all about if the the underlying message is you, you know you can be told all of this stuff but if you don't go out there and actually go and practice it then um well hey you're not going to see the results are you so you know there is just so much i don't think that and i think everybody's going to take something slightly differently because they're all at different uh places you know we're, we're, there's a very eclectic mix of people in the group people who are here for their own personal reasons, there's people who are here because they're in the professional mode and they, they're wanting to take this into their own practices. Um, so I think the fact that everybody is here, they will have a different reason for it. For me, it's, it's personally cementing and co um, confirming some of the ideas and the ways that I've been implementing uh, mindfulness and uh, and, and how to, to take charge of your life in, in my own sort of practice. So it's been giving, it's been giving me the language, um, but in a much more solid um, process type way. So, but you, you know, it's really funny when you're really enjoying something, it just goes really quickly, you know, and you don't actually realize. I mean, this is the other, I suppose one of the other things that is probably worth mentioning is that, that um, there is a very great sense of what do we do with our time and time do we value our time well enough and um, are we actually making the most use of it in whatever goal it is that we want to want to do so um, when you're enjoying something it's quite interesting that you know it doesn't y y the time passes because you're enjoying it and so therefore it feels it doesn't feel like hard work and yet I have to say you know we've been we've been in and up you know 
we're here solidly, working solidly in terms of mental capacity as well as doing the practice. Um, you know, from like nine o'clock through to, to 6.30 uh, every night. And I can honestly say that, you know, my brain definitely feels like it's then working at night time too, um, you know, subconsciously when, when you're asleep. So I've actually, yeah, it's really quite an amazing experience. But you, can see, you can't not have a conversation when you're in with this huge group of people here um, throughout the day and, and it's been very interesting to hear different people's stories, you know, it's really, it, it just, you know, just goes to show what a, a mix we all are and how unique we all are. I tell you, the experience actually so far has been so interesting because uh, it's, it's very much about words, word uh, order, the, the process by which our minds take on information and actually reconstruct it without, we're not really taking on board things in the literal meaning, we apply meanings to stuff. So on Monday we were, we were concentrating on actually how are we constructing sentences and making huge assumptions. Um, which often we do, I uh, make huge assumptions. And then yesterday we, uh, no, yesterday, we should, yeah, Tuesday, you can tell actually that this has been such an awesome experience because my brain feels like it's been bombarded with just all of this information. But yesterday we spent quite a long time uh, uh, talking about what they call uh, ambiguities, syntax ambiguities, phonological ambiguities and actually what was really funny is that this morning I woke up and uh, looked at the newspaper and in the newspaper suddenly all of these things came like charging out of me um, with how hilarious they were, that the way that people have put headlines together, um, that where they've missed punctuation out on purpose, and then you suddenly the sudden realization that you can actually have so many different meanings in the way something is written. So, and today, today was putting all of these things together and reframing the pictures in our minds about fears and how we can overcome fears and phobias. So. Um, so we had some spiders and some snakes and we had some boxes for people who are a bit claustrophobic and, um, and, and sp anybody who's getting like speaking uh, presentation sort of fright or anything like that. So we all got opportunities to um, experience how we can switch the picture um, to a one that's more positive picture and one that can actually help us to overcome those fears and phobias that we put in our life. It's absolutely awesome. I mean, just it's just such a fantastic way of understanding how we think. I helped somebody overcome a fear of, spy of holding a spider today. So I feel, and, and someone else actually with a snake. Um, they, they, I and mean, it was so beautiful to actually watch their face as you could, uh, it, a lot of this is about becoming really heightened and sensing, sensing what your own um, internal dialogue is and what your own sort of uh, uh, feelings and physiology are. And uh, when you get very attuned to that, you can then, when you're watching somebody else, you can see and help them actually overcome their own fear. Um, and I helped this lady with a snake today who was really, really tense about it and we, we were breathing together and slowing down together. And she, she actually got to not just touch the snake but she held the snake and she allowed the snake to sort of go around her hands and then she, we got a picture of it. So she's now got a picture forever that she can hold in her mind about how, how just brilliant it was for her to overcome, you know, something that's just really all in her mind. It was great. And you know, it's been fantastic. You don't really, really, um, you know, time really is a perception that people like to put on, on everybody. Um, you know, 24 hours in a day, 1,440 minutes, you know, and what, how, what are we actually doing with those minutes of our life? Are we actually, are we actually being fully present, fully aware? And, uh, and what's so lovely is that, you know, this is a seven day program and in the seven day program, uh, I've just had to get myself back into, oh yes, it's Wednesday, because I've had such a fantastic time to hear, you know. The on Wednesday we touched on timelines and how we see timelines and how we see time. And that then led into yesterday being very much about how you can actually change your state 
by looking at your timeline and then by utilising the the ability to go back into your timeline to, to learn things by just being able to dissociate from the here and the now um, and, and also to help you give you a strategy to look into the future and be able to you've got a project that you're stuck on and you want to get something done then you could actually ask yourself by looking up through your timeline about how to solve those problems and what the next step is going to be so um, yeah I mean it's, it's been amazing and of course today it's all been integrating everything that's been being you know thrown at us and put in our brains and uh, putting it all together and obviously the core of it is that when we are having fun we are able to release ourselves from the constraints of I can't do this and I can't do that so they you know to test our ability was all about um, what we've taken on in such a short space of time in reality um, is is uh, uh, what, what our brains remembered and what better way than to actually integrate it through the learning so so a really important point uh, is that we had the opportunity to to pull all these little pieces together and go bing there it is and of course now it's about practicing it and going away and doing something with it you know it doesn't stop here you know you haven't your learning's only just begun yeah. so it? it's awesome and really you know if you get the chance and the opportunity you want something to change in life I honestly truly believe that uh, um, this is a fantastic opportunity to start and stop and look at what you really want to do with you, with your life and with things around you, so go for it.